Welcome back everyone. So I am still here at the Lippert headquarters building in Elkhart, Indiana. So what's really cool is they have the Lippert e-bikes out here. So these are the Gladiator e-bikes. I did a, a, you know, a couple videos on these things and it was important because I'm a mountain biking enthusiast and I consider these to actually be true trail bikes because they have a lot of upgradability to them. So if you're looking for an e-bike, you might want to check one of these things out. I love the fact that they actually put a name brand front fork on them, name brand derailers, you know, and a lot of upgradability because of the way they have it mounted with the stem, handlebars, all that cool stuff. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about today. We are actually stepping right next door to the Furion side of the house. So Furion is a word that you hear in every single RV review video I've done, probably 99.9% .9 of them. Because as I circle around to the back of the RV, I always look up at the top and I say, and it's prepped for a Furion wireless backup camera. Correct. Well now, you guys have expanded beyond just that, and a lot of my videos now feature the side prepping as well. Yep. So we actually have a, a gentleman here from Lippert. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, my name is Keith Tamis and I am the uh, technical training manager for Lippert slash Furion. Right. So I would like to go over just real quick what prep means, where the prep units are at, and basically how to change things out. It's a very, very easy process. So first and foremost, I want to mention that our cameras come in a 4.3, a 5-inch version, and a 7-inch version. The 5-inch version and the 7-inch version are both four camera systems, so they work up to four cameras. So here you're going to have your doorway security, your rear camera, you'll have your left and right camera, and then you'll have your rear red light camera. So that would be more on for like a cargo trailer or a work and play or something like that. Um, what I want to mention, this is the one that you'll see the most as far as the rear prepped. It will have just a false plate on there. It will say Furion. To replace the false plate with the Furion unit, you're just going to take out the four screws, replace, uh, take the panel off, put the camera on, four screws, plugs right in, you're good to go. That's as simple as it is. As far as the side prep version, basically there'll be a false panel right here with the F on there for Furion. What you'll pull, what you'll do is you'll pull the lens off, two screws here, false panel will come off, the camera will go on, literally done. That's how quick that is as far as the installation. Everything for the most part comes paired out of the box. Again, the five is up to a four camera system. If you want to select one of your cameras, you'll just click on. It is a touch screen unit. If you want to show all four, view all four right there, that'll show all of them. Side cameras are also, uh, can be connected to your turn signal as well. So if it is connected to the turn signal, obviously if you turn your right turn signal on, it's automatically gonna turn that camera on. The left side, uh, same, same operation. Um, there is a microphone that's built into the camera as well, so that the driver, if somebody is assisting parking uh, the, the rig, um, the driver can hear, obviously, what that person is saying. A lot of times with the older systems, you'd have to use two-way radios. Obviously, with this, they can keep both hands on the wheel, and they can keep focused on what's going on as far as backing the unit in. Everything is wireless transmission. The only thing that you have to have is power and ground, obviously, for the unit itself. But as far as the transmission, it's... Um, wireless and it can go up to 492 feet. And you guys include a lot of different mounting options with the actual camera system as well. So we it's do. not as if you have to figure out how to put it somewhere. They give you a couple different options. Correct. So it's gonna come with the window mount, which is a suction cup mount. Um, it also comes with a table mount in the box. So if you wanna use our camera as a security camera system as well, you can actually take the monitor in the rig with you and then you can set up your cameras to be a security camera system as well while you're inside the rig. Yep, something really cool. And by the way, I've actually installed several of these units and I have several installation videos of these units on various RVs that we've had. And what is really cool is we gave a little hack where you can take a fuse and you can put it in your, your seven-way plug and it allows you to turn your parking lights on around the RV. And by doing so, just as he mentioned, if you bring the monitor into your RV and you have power going to these, these cameras because the lights are on, you now have that security camera system around your RV, which is super cool. We, um, we also have an adapter that will allow this, um, this plug here to go into a USB port. 
So if you had a battery bank, you could actually take that monitor with you to another campsite. And again, using it as a security feature, you have dogs or something like that that you want to keep an eye on back at your rig. You could go again up to about 500 feet away and you could see what's going on at your rig, even at a different campsite. Yep. So just another idea to use that wireless technology. So, and as a bit of a testimonial here, I've had the opportunity over the past years to review a lot of different brands of cameras and a lot of them are less expensive to be honest a lot of them are a couple hundred bucks they don't cost that much and almost every single time there's been a challenge with the range from the back of the rv to the cab of the vehicle and some of these manufacturers build boosters and all these different things or sometimes they've even gone to a wired system where you have to run a wire for your antenna up your rv when i put the furion camera system in and i showed this on a video no problem range-wise, reaching from the back of our 42-foot fifth wheel to the front of my F450 pickup truck. And that's a significant dif distance. So the quality of video is really what you're paying for. Correct. If you can't get the image you're looking for, then why even have a camera system? Correct. Right, it makes no sense. So I've been very impressed with the performance of the Furion system. And I think that's the key here. It doesn't matter how fancy all this is, how easy it is to connect. None of that stuff matters if it doesn't perform the way you want it to perform. And I mean, we all make bad purchasing decisions because we buy something, we think we're saving some money and we get it and it's not as good as we thought it would right. be. Power Tools is a great example right. of that. But this camera system actually blew me away. And if you guys watch the video where I installed this on both, I believe I put one of these on a Van Lee Beacon and then I also put one of these on our Brookstone this, this setup and installation was super easy. Um, everything plugged right in. It was super easy to install. And I installed the whole thing because it wasn't prepped at the time. Right. But now, even Coachman, they're prepping everything with the Furion cameras now. So all you have to do is take the two screws out, pop the camera in. I'm gonna say if you are, you don't even have to be technically minded or mechanically you know, minded. You basically have to have just basic instruction following skills. You'll probably have the cameras in place, everything installed in 15 minutes or less. And on the, prepped, on the prepped point, we're probably 65 to 70% of any rig that's out there being built as far as being prepped for Furion. Yep. So look for the Furion brand, look for the Furion prep. And again, the fact of, you know, you've already gone over it, the way that it installs, again, like you said, you're probably a 15, 20 minute job to do all, at least the three cameras. And then that fourth camera, wherever you want that security or that fourth camera to be, it could be a security camera over your door. It could be a hitch camera. It could be whatever you want that fourth camera to be. Okay, so next up, we're still focusing on Lippert prepped products. That's what they call it. It's basically an RV that's gonna be prepped with components that are ready for Lippert components to be added to them. I know that's kind of confusing to hear. Let me give you an example. I walk through a lot of RVs. And one of the things you're starting to see appear on a lot of those RVs are these prepped products. You want TPMS, it didn't come with TPMS, so now you have a way of easily adding TPMS to your RV. So we're here now with, what was your name, sir? Diamond Far. We're here with Diamond Far. You have a really cool name, by the Thank way. You. Thank but, so Diamond's gonna go over this next product, which is TireLink. And I've done a lot of videos on this stuff. I've showed you guys how it works. I've installed it. Uh, we actually had Tanya from uh, when your okay, farms come out right. and install the system. So yeah, give us a quick overview of what's going on with your TireLink setup. Okay, TireLink, uh, if it comes prepped, what you'll get is this bracket, usually on the inside of the storage compartment near the front of the RV. So when you go to your dealer, if you see that it's prepped, and then what you have to purchase after that is the repeater, which snaps into there, and then the monitors it goes on the wheels and it can monitor up to 20 different wheels oh very okay. cool and correct me if i'm wrong but let's say your rv doesn't come prepped with it when you buy the actual the actual monitor it has the bracket included with it as well right the whole kit comes um, all together so uh, this just ties into a 12 volt line mm -hmm. you can actually add that bracket and add all in very easy then too yep so if you get it equipped or prepped for tire link it's wired into the system already so all right. you're doing is adding the plug and play module to it it powers up download the app and start pairing sensors to it right that and is the, super cool and the great thing about it tpms is temperature and pressure um, so many people believe it's just low pressure or high pressure to get flat tire on a lot of rvs it's actually not it's from the temperature of the tire yep. because they're not rated for such high temperatures as a normal uh, car tire mm -hmm. is. So they overheat and that's what causes a lot of the flats. Like you see here, they're just showing that that one's 21 PSI, but it could be that your temperature's too high and um, they're so 70 degrees, 70 degrees. But if one was high, it would show that, so you know that. Um, and also if you don't 
want to have the monitor, we also have a key fob that you can purchase, mm -hmm. and the key fob will light up when there's an um, issue with one of the tires. Yep, it's a wireless key fob. You can sure. keep it inside of the dash of your vehicle, up on the dash, it has a little clip on it. It's super handy. Now, what is cool about this, and something he mentioned is temperature. So why is temperature that important? Let me give you an example of that a lot of people don't realize. If you're driving on concrete, like plain old tan colored concrete, the temperature on concrete during the day is likely to be 10 to 20 degrees lower than black tar asphalt. Mm -hmm. So the minute your vehicle transitions from concrete, maybe an overpass, to asphalt, you don't realize how hot that road surface actually is. I mean, that old proverbial term, you can cook an egg. Exactly. You can actually do that on some roadways mm -hmm. with the sun hitting it. It doesn't even have to be hot outside. Just the sun itself, that radiant heat hitting tarmac can heat it up to such a high temperature. Now imagine your black tire driving over that. And that's where a lot of heat comes from. A lot of people don't realize the sun hitting one side of your RV is going to heat up the tire. And what does that do to your air pressure? Makes it increase. It. Yep. So these are all things that you have to be aware of, especially if you're running older tires, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you have a tire that's in great shape, but it's approaching that six year mark and you know you need to replace it, but you want to get a few more trips in because tires aren't cheap. Having a system like this to at least monitor what's going on with that tire, to make sure that you know those little cracks that you're starting to appear and you're not ready to pony up the cash to get new tires, this can help you at least keep in check to know my tire pressure is good, my temperature is good, and I can still make a couple trips perhaps before I need to replace these tires. Absolutely. So tires are what connect your RV to the ground. Yes, they are. They're, they're the most important aspect in terms of traveling with your RV. A blowout will ruin a trip. Mm -hmm. Having a system in place is so important, and that's. You know, I'll tell you what sells this product on its own. What auto manufacturers not putting TPMS in their vehicles? All of them have it now. All it's of them have standard, it now. Yeah. Except on my F450, which is really <laughs> sad. Okay, so now we're going through the glass doors. We still got Diamond here with us. So we're going to take a look at another really cool prepped product. And this one's kind of unique in the sense that, you know, a lot of folks, they have ladders on the back of their RV already. A lot of them do. They really do. But mm -hmm. a lot of RVs now are not coming equipped with ladders. A part of that was, believe it or not, there was a ladder shortage, you know, right. globally. So finding ladders was an issue. The folks at Lippert came up with a really, really awesome solution for accessing the top of your RV. So yep. you want to talk about what, what we have in front of us? Absolutely. This is our new on-the-go ladder. Uh, we just released it a couple months ago. What's nice about it is the telescoping ladder, as you can see there, folds down uh, to roughly this height right here. It can be stored anywhere. And as you can see right there, it has a bracket already on it and what the new units are going to be coming with is this bracket here and you extend this ladder put it into that bracket and then the legs extend all the way down to the ground so um, you no longer have to have a ladder on the back it's on the ground so it's sturdier There's, it's not swaying mm -hmm. back and forth and it's rated for 330 pounds okay um, so much higher weight rating and the ones were about 250. Well, okay, so this is what I like about this. So a telescoping ladder is not new. They, nope. They've been around forever. Um, I have a telescoping ladder. That's why I know people have seen it on the channel. But what is new is the ability to use a telescoping ladder as the main point to access the back, the back point of your RV to get on the roof. Right. But correct me if I'm wrong, you've just now created a ladder that they can use for accessing any part of their RV. They don't need, if you want to connect to those, those two connection points, you can use it for that. But if you need to get up the side of your RV for some reason. Correct. Right? Of course, you want to have the bracket there, but. Correct. Yeah. It is a multi-use uh, ladder. So, yes, you're not just limited to climbing up on the back. You could absolutely flip it around and use it on the sides, um, the front, if you really wanted to. You're right, without the bracket, but it doesn't mean you have the choice of the bracket on the back to be able to give you the extra stability if you'd like that. Yeah. And, and that's kind of the key. With, with the design of this, it's really designed to give you a safe way to access the roof of your RV. When you are using it as a traditional ladder, you know what? A lot of people don't use ladders very safely. No, um, they don't. And, and if you've ever climbed on one, you know when you climb climbing up, it starts swaying and rocking back and forth. It doesn't give you a, a very good feeling. Where this will be as it's you know, goes all the way to the ground, so it's nice and steady, yep. just like a ladder at home. Well, that is really cool. Another really cool product. And again, if you don't have a ladder on the back of your RV, check to see if it's prepped. It may be prepped for a prepped product from Lippert. I told them you shouldn't put multiple P's in, in <laughs> words back to back. But yeah, that's going to be really cool. And if you have that bracket right there on the back of your RV, you know that all you need next 
is the ladder. Okay, so we've moved to another product display, and this is another ready product or prepped product. Prep product. Prep. I, again, these P's, you don't ever put two words starting with P back to back. So we got another Lippert prepped product here. Uh, what are we looking at? You're looking at our slide topper prep currently now. And the OEs will install the bracket that you see here. And it says Solera slide topper prepped and it's ready for our slide toppers to be installed. And that's these brackets right here. Correct. Right? Okay, so if you're walking around an RV dealership lot or you just bought an RV and you walk in and you're like, what did they put on the side of my RV? You guys essentially have prepped it for slide top awnings without needing to do any real major surgery because this rail should already be there as well, right? Correct. And then these will be there, so all you need to do is buy this portion of it, which will slide in, and most dealers can install them not only super quickly, it's gonna reduce the, the hourly cost of labor, but it's also gonna get your RV in and out of the shop much quicker. In and out of the shop, a lot, a lot quicker. All right, so let's talk about slide top awnings briefly. What are they really designed for? So I'll let you explain since you guys make them. <laughs> Thanks. Well, they're designed to protect your investment. So that slide out box has uh, a lot of opportunities for uh, water, for debris, leaves, uh, twigs, those kind of things that can go on top of that box and then slide into your unit. Uh, so you want to make sure that you can protect that investment and protect the gears and the motors that are on the sides of that slide out box as well with the slide topper on it. Yep. One thing that's really cool, and it's kind of a, an additional benefit that a lot of people don't think about, is that gap right there. That's an air gap. Air acts as a really great insulator when it's between two surfaces. Absolutely. So it's actually gonna keep the top of your slides cooler because of that air gap right there. And it's not gonna have to work as hard, or your air conditioner, your heater may not have to work as hard because that air gap prevents that UV light from hitting it directly and building up that, that radiant heat. So that's also really cool. To control those temperatures. Absolutely. So that is very cool. Another cool product. And again, this is a prepped product, which means when you buy an RV, look for these. Look for these brackets. Has anybody ever told you you kind of sound and look like Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> I'm sure only, this only goes around. Times. All right, yeah. So very cool. I don't want him to punch me. Anyways, we're going to move on to the next station. All right, so we have another product we're gonna look at, and this is another Lippert Prepped product. Say Lippert Prepped product really fast. Lippert Prepped product. No, fast, fast. No. <laughs> okay, so this is their Thin Shade. What is a Thin Shade? You guys have probably seen it on my channel several times. Basically, it is a shade system for the window of your RV. And it's really cool because there's all sorts of, you know, like aluminum foil and stuff that people put on their windows, which looks super tacky. You get an RV, the last thing you want to do is wrap everything in aluminum foil. That said, this is a really cool product. It's super easy to install. And if it's prepped for it, you'll see this little thing right here, Lippert Thin Shade Ready. Notice how they didn't say prepped product. Anyways, and you simply attach the thin shade into it. So that is really cool. And now it gives you a very, very easy way to see who's outside your door. Okay, so next up, we're here at probably one of the most exciting products that I've, I've seen come to the, the, the RV industry in a while. Now, water filtration, water purification is not anything that's totally new, but the way these folks are doing it certainly is. And this product is called Acuva. So Acuva has partnered with Lippert to bring this product to market as a really cool prepped product on some RVs that are coming out, but also an aftermarket product that you can purchase. But you are correct. This is a new product to the market with the technology that we co-branded with Lippert. So what this does is normally, you know, you go out RVing, you know, you have the luxury to travel wherever you want to. You take all the essentials of life, but the one thing that's very important is water. And when you buy water that can add up and it just takes up a lot of space. In your and RV. it's heavy. It's heavy. It takes up a lot of space. Not only that, unless you're like recycling, it goes right back into the soil or wherever you're at. So when you go, you know, dock up your RV and you hook up to the faucet, you don't really know where that water source is coming from. So now most RVs are all of them already have a filtration system in it, which is good, but filtering water only takes out some soil and sediment like that. What ours does is our, our two stage process here. This is UV LED technology. And so what this does is it's a high beam UV LED light that destroys the DNA of the bacteria. Then it goes through our filter, which then also takes out the sediment and the dirt, which the original filter does. So E. coli, anything that's out there that can harm you, 
this will, it, it, it kills the DNA. It okay. is no longer existing. And UV technology has been around for a long time, right? They use it in pool filters. Yes, They use exactly. it in water treatment facilities. Yes, so everything. what we've done is in here is a titanium tube, which we shoot the beam through, which then kills the DNA on it. Okay. So best case scenario is using this in conjunction with your basic filter to take the large sediments out. And then this would actually kill any of the bacteria, the viruses and that stuff in the water. Correct. So you're already going to have your filter system that's already on your RV. This is just adding extra protection. I mean, especially, you know, you have dogs, you have kids, you know, a lot of people when they go camping, they get sick. They start to attribute it to like food that actually is what is in your water and the water source that it's coming from. Very cool. So kind of walk through the, the setup here. What, what are we looking at overall? So where would this normally be mounted? All right, so these will be coming prepped soon on RVs that are on your lots. You see it's a very quick off and on. It has a bracket that snaps right into the back of this. And this goes underneath your sink. Very cool. So it just kind of snaps into place. It snaps into place and actually we have this smart faucet. So when you have your power run to it, the Acuva logo right here will light up blue. The LED ring on your smart faucet will also light up blue, which shows you that everything is working properly. Okay. If there's something that's not right, if the filter needs changed or anything, these will both light up red. Got it. Okay, so this is kind of what the finished product will look like whenever you have an RV that's completely equipped with it, correct? Correct. So this is your faucet, which will be diverted into here. So your drinking water, and then you'll also have your regular tap water to do your dishes and everything else. Great. And then this portion right here would actually be mounted under the sink. So this would go underneath your sink, yes, off to the side, depending on what floor plan or model that you have, depending on, on, on where, what size. Basically it would be how at. they plumbed yes. it in. Correct. Okay, very cool. And some models out there who aren't using this, you can actually divert it right into your main sink as well. Really? Yes. So that's kind of cool. So you can basically make all your water coming through your, your faucet go through this system. Yeah, so what you do is you just do a, run a T-valve off of it. So when you want to run your filter, your UV um, filtration purification system in there, you come in here, you turn the nozzle and use it that way. Very cool. I really appreciate it. You know, this is, a, this is definitely one of those products that is very innovative and people are expecting, people are looking for this. As more people camp, more people full-time, they're looking for a way to stay healthy especially in this day and age. Correct. Yep. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. We'll have more information in the description of this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. Thank you again.